On today's episode of Tap it Daniel, we are over here checking out North Sky, basically about on the north side of Salina, probably for the next two years, is that on the outside of the community, there's not really gonna be much. See, the middle school is just over to the left, so this neighborhood is gonna be zoned for that. The tax rate in here is gonna be 2.08%. I'll throw up the plat map for American legend. So you can see on there what they're doing for their 55s and 65 foot lots. Here down to Dallas is gonna be about 53 minutes. Uh, so that makes sense. Howdy folks, welcome back to another video today. We are over here checking out North Sky, basically about on the north side of Salina, right before the border, not right before the border, but a little bit before the border of Gunter, Texas. So this area right now is really underdeveloped. So you're not gonna see a whole bunch of shops and those things around you. Now this neighborhood is next to the high school and the new middle school over here for Salina, but just know right now how this community is gonna work out probably for the next two years is that on the outside of the community, there's not really gonna be much. Also getting into the community, you're gonna be passing over a railroad track there. Now that railroad track is the same one that runs all the way down through Frisco. So there might be moments where you have to sit at a train there, but the train's not constantly going through there. So it shouldn't be really too much of a problem. But I also like how this neighborhood is set a little bit further back and not right on top of the railroad. So there won't be any lots that are like backed up to railroads, but just know getting into the neighborhood, you're, you are gonna have to pass over that, but that shouldn't really be a huge deal. So this neighborhood is just a little bit further back. Now it is off of Preston Road by like a mile. Uh, right now, these are just gonna be county roads uh, that you see here with just these kind of simple one lanes. So no lighting infrastructure, no curbs, nothing like that. On this side of Salina, it really is just a whole bunch of farmland right now. Now, a lot of this land around here is for sale. So you can see some of these signs that are kind of popping up, but this is the neighborhood here and they've built out the streets for North Sky, but they have not actually started building and breaking ground, but they got all the uh, pipe underneath uh, kind of ready to go and prepped up to start putting homes in. And it is actually this neighborhood, it is actually this turn in here. So you can see the middle school is just over to the left. So this neighborhood is gonna be zoned for that. And then we'll drive around here. So just kind of vision it right now. You're gonna have American legend, you're gonna have Perry Holmes and Taylor Morrison in here. But right now, like I was saying, there's really nothing up here. So I might come back in like four months from now, get another video over this area just to show you guys kind of the update. Because right now this doesn't really help you to see what these homes look like, but uh, it does help the people that are really trying to get into something right at the beginning. Uh, Perry Homes just started pre-selling. American Legend's coming soon and Taylor Morrison is coming soon. And I'll talk about some of the floor plans for Perry Homes and American Legend. American Legend didn't have their prices up yet, but I'm sure that'll be here soon. A little bit about this community. It is located within Collin County. The tax rate in here is gonna be 2.08%. There is gonna be a PID. Now the PID is gonna go up to like $3,000, 3500 per year, depending on what size lot, but probably the most expensive you're gonna pay in here is with the 65 foot lots. And those are gonna cost about $3,530 per year. Now that being said, there could be moments and years where it's a little bit cheaper, some years compared to others, but about 3500 is what you're gonna probably average in here on that one. I don't know the full length of that pit. I won't really know that until I start seeing contracts come through, but you can probably assume probably 30 to 40 years. This neighborhood is gonna be more of that master plan community. It is gonna have like the amenity centers. You're gonna have like a few walking trails, sidewalks, playgrounds, those types of things that kind of come with the master plan community. And you're gonna have a good amount of homes within here. I don't know the full total. I wanna say when I was talking to the sales agent at Perry Homes, they, I wanna say it was over a thousand. Because they're putting 40 foot lots in here, so that's just gonna bring a lot more homes, but I do like how they're putting 65s and 55s within here. And then it's gonna go a little bit further down into this back side here. So right now it ends at this street, but it is gonna keep going a little bit further back into here. And then the HOA within this neighborhood is gonna be $550 semi-annually. So I would say that's probably on the average side of most HOAs that I kind of come by. And when I look at things on the size of like what type of builders, the scale of the community and what's actually coming with the community. But from this angle right here in this street, you can actually see all of the uh, schools around here. 
where the middle school is and the high school. You can see the high school perched up on a hill way out there. Not really a whole bunch of retaining walls. There is like this one small retaining wall here. So everything's pretty flat. I like all these lots right now. Uh, it seems like they're gonna have lots facing about every direction. You're gonna have some down this road that are facing north. I, I would say a lot more lots are gonna be facing east and west, uh, but they are gonna have some south facing and some north facing lots kind of go going down the line. It is really just one big square right now on how they have it set up and then it's gonna go a little bit further back. Oh, look, you know how at the beginning of the video I was talking about how like the train isn't like a big thing, doesn't like come around too much. Well, out in the distance there is a train out there. That's so ironic. Well, good thing I started the video when I did and got out here. I wonder if you can hear it from here. Uh, I think I can barely hear it. It's going pretty slow. I think it's going slow because it's going through Salina, the downtown area. I can't quite hear it. Back in the day when my parents moved to Frisco and we were living off of Main Street, you could hear the train uh, the horn of the train, not the actual train going on the tracks, but the horn of the train all the way from downtown Frisco to basically 423 and Main Street, all the way from there, you could hear the train. Now you can't, you don't really hear the train going through there with the horn, but uh, back when there was like a, still a bunch of farmland and not a whole bunch of houses, uh, you could hear it pretty good. But I don't hear it from here. I don't hear the train kind of going by. It looks like it's going by pretty slow. Okay, if you also notice that there's some lots in here that have alleyways, those lots are gonna be the 40 foot lots from Taylor Morrison and then kind of around the perimeter of the areas where kind of the bigger lots, the 55 to 65 foot lots are gonna be. But let me talk about Perry Homes real quick and those floor plans within there. So I just pulled out a few of them, but for Perry Homes and their 55 foot lots, they've got 14 floor plans. They have the 2504W plan, four bed, three bath, 2,500, four square feet, starting at $543,000. The 2493W plan, four bed, three bath, 2,493 square feet, starting at $564,000. The 2797W plan, four bed, three bath, 2,797 square feet, starting at $598,000. The 3299W plan, four bed, three bath, 3,299 square feet, starting at $647,000. And then the 3396W plan, four bed, three and a half bath, 3,396 square feet, starting at $670,000 on their high end. And then for the 65 foot lots, they've got 20 floor plans in here. That on the low end, they've got the 2850W plan, four bed, three and a half bath, 2,850 square feet, starting at $632,000. The 3399W plan, four bed, three bath, 3,399 square feet, starting at $696,000. The 3650W plan, four bed, four bath, 3,650 square feet, starting at $713,000. The 4016 W plan, five bed, four and a half bath, 4,016 square feet, starting at $743,000. The 4140 W plan, five bed, four bath, two half bath, 4,140 square feet, starting at $752,000. So that's for Perry Homes in there. So they're doing the 55s and 65s. American Legend is doing the same thing, but they didn't have their prices up there. So maybe in a month from now, they'll have their prices, but I did pull out some floor plans just to give you guys an idea on what size they're building in here. So for their 55 foot lots, they have 11 floor plans. They have the 1520, four bed, three bath, 2,001 square feet, the 1522, three bed, two bath, 2,207 square feet, the 1525 plan, four bed, three bath, 2,725 square feet, the 1527 plan, four bed, three bath, 2,879 square feet. Then there's the 1532 plan, four bed, three bath, 2,510 square feet. And then their biggest floor plan for the 55 foot lots are gonna be the 1540, is gonna be the 1542 plan, four bed, four bath, 3,178 square feet. For their 65 foot lots, they also have 11 floor plans in there. They have the 1523, four bed, three bath, 2,429 square feet. The 1531, four bed, three bath, 3,007 square feet. The 1683, four bed, three bath, 2,671 square feet. The 1687 plan, four bed, four and a half bath, 3,438 square feet. The 1689, four bed, three bath, 2,946 square feet. And then the 1691, four bed, four bath, 3,230 square feet. I'll throw up the plat map for 
American Legend. So you can see on there what they're doing for their 55s and 65 foot lots. What's in white on this map is gonna be the other builders in there. Perry Helms doesn't have it on their website for their map. And then Taylor Morrison's site right now for their 40 foot lots, they're still showing coming soon right now. So hopefully within the next month or two, more things start getting released. And like I said, probably in like four months from now, I'll come back through this neighborhood, do another video. If um, enough of you guys are kind of interested in this neighborhood and I see some interest, I'll definitely come back out here and, and be able to do that. So that's kind of what the plat map looks like. And now you can kind of get an idea on how things are situated within this neighborhood. The amenity center, they said it's going to be a resort style pool. They're going to have a playground and also a dog park within here. So kind of the basic things that kind of come with the master plan community that you typically see around here on this size and these types of builders within here. I really do like the types of builders within here. I think a 40 foot lot with a Taylor Morrison home is fine. I don't know what their prices are going to be, be at. So until I kind of see that, I'll, I'll know if it is really fine, but I, I they should be reasonable at, at that price point. And I talk about this with people on the phone, the 40 foot lots over at Fields of Frisco with the Darling homes that are like $800,000. I just can't quite wrap my head around that. But I think in here it's gonna be reasonable. I also think the 55 foot lots over here are kind of reasonable for what you know you're gonna get with this community and how close it is to the new middle school and then also kind of right off Preston Road. So you know that things are gonna be built around here. I will say that probably the one frustrating thing with this neighborhood is just gonna be that, you know, railroad track getting in and out of the neighborhood, but I don't think it should be too much of a problem, but we'll kind of see. I, I would like an opinion. If somebody's coming back to this video two years from now and they're now living in this, please leave a comment over what it's like driving up and over the railroad track and if it is a problem or not or you are annoyed by it i would like to see what the comment is on that the school district in here is going to be salina isd that's going to be lichens elementary salina middle school which actually that's that's I, I think that's wrong i think perry Holmes gave me the wrong sheet i don't think it's salina middle school i think it's the new middle school there so i'll pop up that new middle school for the how far away it is but it's right down the street uh, and then you got salina high school the commute out here down to Dallas is gonna be about 53 minutes. The DFW airport is gonna be 47 minutes. Fort Worth is gonna be an hour and 11 minutes away. Frisco is gonna be about 30 minutes away. Nearest hospital right now that's active is 27 minutes away. And then the nearest grocery store is gonna be about nine minutes away down Preston. Now this commute time is probably gonna change over the next two years due to the Dallas North Tollway getting built through here and then probably them expanding parts of Preston Road to make things flow a little bit better but until they really expand things out uh, with the Dallas North Tollway you're probably going to be looking at these kind of harsh commute times out to things now getting down into like downtown Salina to like some of the other restaurants that's not too far away uh, also prosper fields of frisco that's not unreasonable but if you're having to work down in plano that is going to be a bit of commute but i think that's still doable now commuting down to dallas from here hopefully you only have to go down to dallas one time a week because i think you're not going to have too much of a fun time commuting up into these areas but I, I find that most of the people right now that are coming in buying in salina are working in the plano areas and they're maybe a first-time home buyer or they're trying to figure out their things and they have a budget of about you know, six hundred thousand dollars. I would say the average right now that I'm working with is like six fifty. I do have families in the eights and the nines, but I would say that six under six fifty mark is usually what I'm kind of around and working with when it comes to buyers right now from the trends that I'm seeing. And I think you know you're going to be able to afford. You know, I think at six fifty you could do one of these fifty five foot lots and have a pretty nice builder. Now, American Legend is probably not going to do as good on the incentives when it comes to the design center. But I think Perry Homes should add some, uh, usually what I see, usually I see them offer a little bit more at the design center than American Legend. All right, and that's gonna do it for North Sky and driving around here. So not too much to look at, but maybe gives you guys, but hopefully gives some of you guys a better idea, especially the people that are relocating out here uh, into the future and don't have time to maybe drive around to all the places over in this part of town. But that is gonna do it for North Sky right now. So if you guys have any other questions or comments, please leave them down below or send me a text. If you are on a home search and you aren't working with an agent right now, I would love to work with you and help you out on your home search and work with you and your family. Other than that, peace out y'all and take it easy as always.
Thanks for checking out my channel and watching that video. I got more videos floating around here. If you're in the market to buy or sell real estate in the DFW area, contact me, Daniel, at the Home Expert team. I will be happy to answer any of your questions. Uh, besides that, uh, bye.